Conditional filters are a powerful software feature. It allows you to show and hide certain sets of information based off of predefined conditions, essentially allowing you to decide what types of information from your data source you want certain users to see and certain users to not see. Additionally, with linked list, you can set a condition in the items list details page to show entries from another list associated with that item. If this sounds a little bit confusing, don't worry. We'll dive into it in this video. In this video, we're gonna cover conditional filters for the list block, conditional filters for the list details block, and then we're gonna go into linked lists and powerful ways you can filter and sort your data. First up, we have the list block. The list conditional filtering feature allows you to filter the list based on defined conditions. It's available under the data tab if you scroll down to the conditional filter section. So let's take the employee management template from Softer, found in the template library. This is a central hub for your community's resources, announcements, it's an employee directory and more. You can actually use this for free if you want to follow along. So I've already gone ahead and copied it into my Softer Studio, and I've also navigated to the employee directory page. As you can see in our Airtable database that Softer provides with this template, we have a users table, which is named the employee directory with various fields. Now, one of those fields is department. So let's say for this use case, I wanted to show only the records of a logged in users employees department. So this page would essentially say, my department and it would automatically showcase only records associated with that user's defined department. We can easily do that with conditional filters found below. First up under conditional filters, we have show list items that match any or all of the following conditions. I'm actually gonna pop over to another template I've been working in to show you what this looks like. So you can add as many conditions that are required. And if you do, they'll be joined by an or if you've chosen any or an and if you've chosen all. So you can get super specific with your conditional filters. So for this, I'm actually gonna just choose all. Moving on, let's see how the condition is configured. There are three fields in the condition settings. The first one is select field. So here you will need to select a field from the Airtable base for which the condition will be defined. So as we remember, we wanna filter for department, right? So I'm gonna choose department, great. Next is the condition. So you have a lot to choose from. They're pretty self-explanatory, right? Especially if you're familiar with Airtable. Is means it needs to match the value exactly. Is not, the field has any value apart from that value is one of, it matches one of the values, multiple values can be added, is none of, the fields have any other value apart from the values, multiple values can also be added, and is empty if the department field is empty, or is not empty if the field is simply not empty and has a certain value. Now for this, we wanna be quite specific, right? So we want the department to match the condition exactly. So we're gonna say department is, Next, you have two options. The first one is entering a specific value. So let's say, for example, on this page, we only wanted to showcase employees that are product managers. So all you would need to do is simply type in product management. It's case sensitive. So make sure, as you can see here, the M is lowercase. So I wanted to make sure that I did that correctly here. Great, so now we're saying for basically anyone logged into this app, when you come to this employee directory page, we wanna actually filter it for only product management. I don't really know why you would wanna do that right now, but let's just use this use case as an example. So I'm gonna publish it, and then let's take a look at what this would look like. Perfect, it's filtering correctly. I'm logged in as a different user, great. For this use case, like we said, we want to showcase only the employees that are associated with this employee's department. So how would you do that? How can we communicate with software that the logged in person's department should be reflective of the data showing here? Well, we do that through logged in users parameters. So I'm gonna X out of that value that I entered manually, and I'm gonna click the down arrow, and you'll see here logged in users as an option. 
So the logged in users parameter allows you to set a condition to filter the list for that logged in user so that each user only sees entries that are related to him or her. So by default, you'll have email and email domain as an option, but since we've connected our Airtable base to this list block, we have all of our fields available to us. So in this use case where we want the logged in employee to only see other employees within their department, what we would do is say department is logged in users, and then you would find department. Cool. All right, let me publish that. And then let's quickly view this as an employee. So I'm going to choose Robbie Pritchett from our users table. And Robbie is in engineering. So if this worked correctly, then when we copy and paste this, we are viewing the app as if we're Robbie and we should only see employees under the directory that are in engineering. Perfect, so it worked. Now let's move on to using conditional filters with the list details block. Conditional filters on a list details block allows you to use the list details block separately from the list block, showing records that match the defined condition instead of displaying the record based on the user's action on the connected list block. So for instance, you can apply a conditional filter to the details block as a user profile section where only the logged in user can see their record. Let me just show you visually what this looks like. Let's say like in this employee directory, we wanna create an employee profile page that when the employee is logged in, they can essentially navigate to a profile tab and see all of their information. But of course, we want software to identify which record to pull based off of the logged in user's conditions. So what we would do is simply add a new page. I'm gonna name it employee profile details save. Now we're gonna add a new block. It's gonna be dynamic and it'll be a list details block. And let's just make it simple and it can be the list details page with a side image. So very quickly, we need to map our data as you recall. Then we need to map our Airtable table, which is going to be the employee directory table, right? We want to pull the information from the user tab. So we'll go to employee directory. Great. Now quickly, we just need to map some of the fields. So let me go ahead and do that. If you are discovering this for the first time, I highly recommend that you check out our list and list details block video as they will go into more detail in how you can map your data to softer. Okay, so as you can see here, I've mapped the users table to our list details block, which is now displaying our data visually. So where do conditional filters come into play? Now, if we head back to our data table and we scroll down to conditional filters, remember the use case is we're gonna make this a profile page that our logged in users can navigate to see their own profile information, and then eventually they can be able to edit their profile information. We'll get into that in another video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna define the conditional filter so that the logged in user sees the record where their email matches his or her email value. So how we set that up is email address is logged in users email. So essentially what this does is it says, hey, Softer, whenever this user is logged in and they navigate to this page, show them the record associated with their logged in email. Great, so let's hit publish. Now, the last thing we need to do is just add this to the navigation somewhere. So let me go back to home, navigation, and I will simply add a link under the profile button add link, we'll call it my profile, add action. We want it to open the page, which is employee profile details. That's the one we just created. All right, let's publish it. Now again, we're logged in as Robbie Pritchett. So let me copy his magic link here and paste it. Now there should be the list details block here, my profile. And when we click into it, we should only be seeing Robbie's information, his specific record. Perfect. So that's conditional filters with the list details block in action. 
Basically, in a nutshell, conditional filters are filtering the data in the back end, and it's essentially a security measure that can be used to show specific data to specific users, all without your users ever having to touch the original database. Now, like I said, you can even take it one step further and allow this user to edit and update their own information and not anyone else's information. But we're gonna get into that in a separate video that I recommend you check out. So lastly, let's chat about linked lists. With linked lists, it's a powerful way to link an item's detail page with other entries associated with that item. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna be using the project tracker template also available in our template library on the software website. It allows you to essentially manage projects and tasks between team members, departments, and offices. And then obviously you have lots of different user groups and logins depending upon if you're a client, a manager, or a contractor. So this is a great use case showcasing the power of linked lists. As you can see here, we have a simple list block that is showing information corresponding to the projects table here in Airtable. So if we click into the list block though, we'll be taken to the list details block, which shows more information associated with the records within the projects table. However, if you scroll down, you'll notice here, there's also additional list block and comments block that's showcasing associated records with this project. So if you also just take a look under the hood, we'll see here, yep, this is a list details block. It's linking to our projects air table. This is a list block that's linking to our team table. However, how are we telling Softer, hey Softer, only link the team records that are associated with this specific list details item? Well, of course, through conditional filters, which again, you find under the data tab and then scroll down to conditional filters. So to show this in action, let's say that we wanna create an additional block that shows the associated tasks with the linked project. First, we're gonna add another list block. Let's make it a list block with horizontal cards. Now, remember, we're gonna link our Airtable data source and the base is project management by software. And the Airtable table that we wanna to link to this time is going to be the tasks table. Great. Next, we need to quickly map the fields, which I will do here. So don't mind the design for now. This is more to demonstrate the functionality. As of now, the way this functions is it's essentially showing all of the data from the task table, which is not very helpful if you want to see tasks associated with this specific project. So let's head to the data tab, click into the list block, and scroll down to conditional filters. So in order to have software recognize that we want to show only records associated with this project, what we can essentially do is say, we wanna select the field, which could be the projects field, which is linked to the projects table. So we want the project is, and then if you click, you'll see now we have a new value available to us and that's projects. So this is only something that shows up if you are using a linked list within a list details block. So we'll click into project and we want it to be the project name. So that's gonna identify it by saying, show us the tasks that are associated with this project name, which is website audit. So let's publish that and take a look. If we pop over into the site, let's click on rebranding. We can see the list details block here is showing us more information about that project. Great. The team is only showing team members associated with the rebranding and our newly implemented tasks are showing only the tasks associated with, as you can see here, the rebranding record. So this is a really powerful way you can showcase specific data that's dependent upon the linked list details block as shown here.